Hello sunshine. If you want to see more, keep watching. So roughly here are the supplies you're going to need for this project. I've got some little metal planters, which will be changed out later. So keep watching to see that. Some used floral foam, some thrifted ribbon, this little sign, Hello Sunshine, came from the thrift store. This is a Dollar Tree frame. Just in case you want to get your own. This came from the thrift store. I believe it came from Michael's originally. This is just some scrapbook paper that I had, probably from the thrift store. And then I've got some thrifted florals. I am loving the little wispy sunflower look this year for spring and summer. And they look very dainty and cottage-like to me. So these are the ones that I've chosen. They're just some extra pieces. I'm gonna use my glue gun. Okay, I'm gonna take my metal ruler and just open up the back of this frame. I'm gonna take off the back and the little papers from the inside and put those aside. I am gonna save that little house paper form for another project. I'm going to lay my back down on here because we're going to be covering that ugly backing. So this is, I finally found one of these at the Dollar Tree, guys. I cannot believe it. And actually my daughter found it for me when we were shopping. I wasn't even looking because I had, had given up. But the smaller size is convenient for some other projects. I do have some larger ones. Um, that I got from the thrift store, but this is really great for a small project. So I just cut that out, and you can certainly use scissors for that if you would like. And I'm going to use my good old school glue glue stick. It's purple, and then it goes on. It, it becomes clear as it starts to dry. I'm going to add that on the top. Trim up any little scraggly edges you might have left. And I'm just going to pull the back off. I'm not going to need this for this project. So I'm going to pull it off, put it aside, and take the little hanger section off. I use my wooden ruler to smooth it out and we're going to place it back in the frame. You go through there and press down all your tabs to hold it securely in place or you can remove the tabs and use a little hot glue. Give me a thumbs up if you like this so far. Alright, so I'm going to take the back off of this because we want it to lay flat. And this did not come out as easily as I hoped it would, so I grabbed my pliers there and just pulled that off. Now this is raised, this is like a particle board, so I'm gonna smooth that out so it lays flush with our surface. And I'm gonna find my placement. A little bit higher, maybe in the middle, maybe a little lower. So I think right in the center of, right before the, the point up there where it goes into the roof and the bottom will be a good place for it. In retrospect, if you wanted to use a floral that was a little taller, moving it up a bit might would have been a good idea. You could probably find a little picture like that at the Dollar Tree, um, you know, that you can use to put right on the inside of that. I'm going to use some um, 70% alcohol. I just have that in a little travel spray bottle. I like to clean my items with that. You need to get all the oils and stuff off from your hands and from being, you know, the gunk from the thrift store. And I've just used an old sock that didn't have a match. Kind of make it look a little bit nicer, even though you're not going to see the bottom. I'm just going to take that stuff off. And yeah, it's important to uh, use a long-term, long-hold glue, which this fix-all came from Dollar Tree. And then we're going to use hot glue as well. You clean it with alcohol or something like that because you want to be sure you don't have any oils from your hands because it can keep the glue from sticking. That's where I was going with that. And you don't want there to be any problem with that. You want this to stand up firmly. So that's what I've done, and I've held it there for just a minute for the hot glue to get um, firmed up. And then now I'm just going to take some more hot glue, put it on the back right along that edge, and I've got a little dowel rod here I'm going to trim down with my pliers and place it in a thick bead of glue on the back. That's just going to give it a little more support. Because oftentimes you can't get a good 
it won't stick well to metal or shiny surfaces like glass so just to give it a little extra strength now I'm gonna take my floral foam blocks and just press them down in there you can cut them excuse my whole shoulder there I really like to throw it all into the projects as you can see and you're gonna do both of those like that and take your picks make sure they're cut down to a you know a decent size a usable size and then start placing those in the foam I like mine to look slightly symmetrical or slightly reflective of the other one if I'm doing two it just seems a little more balanced to me but you certainly don't have to do it that way you can put it in however you like now these are not going to be replicas they will not be twins they will be sisters or cousins if you will so there we go I'm using the yellow and the white and I'm looking at the project and I see that it's just too tall and it's covering up my word it doesn't look right so I've got these little paper um, I think they're seating pots and I'm just going to take my items out I'm gonna place them back into the little paper pots if you pull them all out in one piece lay them down gently you can take that entire bunch and place them back down this is how they looked before see the difference it's like an inch and a little more uh, difference there so it was a little bit too tall for what I needed but I wanted to show you both options and how to fix it if you did what I did it's not a big deal you can always take it out and start over so that's what I've done here and I like the placement of these I think this looks really cute side by side again with the fix all I'm gonna add some of that on here and then without overlapping my fix all I'm going to add some hot glue in a circle around that area um, the effectiveness of the glue can be disrupted if you mix your adhesives so don't do that try to keep them try to give them a little breathing room there and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one a little around the center and then some hot glue around the outside two different glues because you want the hot glue to give you a quick grip and you want that other glue to be there for a whole lot longer So just holding that down and giving it a chance to dry in place now because there are areas between the flowers and the edge of the pot where you can see the foam I'm gonna go back in and just add some additional leaves and foliage that I had on the picks before I took them apart I'm just gonna add those here and there to cover up where you might be seeing those um, you can see here you can still see that foam so I'm gonna fix that too Just move some things around remember they're plastic or they're on wire so they're very easy to manipulate and put them exactly where you want them whatever makes you happy whatever's gonna bring you that joy so I'm adding some glue and to keep from burning my fingers I'm just gonna use a little pick you can use your little silicone finger protect protectors or a spatula whatever you choose I'm gonna add a little bow and this is just some vintage lace that I have lace ribbon really really simple bow you can see how easily and quickly I did that a little bit of this cotton um, cotton I can't find the word string um, from the <laughs> Dollar Tree huge spool it has lasted me forever I'm just gonna tie that in a double knot and make sure that my bow stays nice and securely there when I when I tug at it and cut on it trim it down okay so here is our cute little bow and see having a tight knot in the middle keeps the entire bow from falling apart and I can still slide that just a little bit rather than dovetail I'm just gonna cut these on a slant that's what I like to do with these lace ribbons most of the time a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna add that to the open space um, on the top of the house and just for an extra little something cute I thought maybe some buttons would be really cute that is part of a cottage look and a country look and I thought it would be really fitting with this plus it is the the colors that I'm using reflects the colors that I already have in the project could certainly use yellow and I did I did look at a yellow button but it was just too bright all right so I'm going to take this form I'm gonna lay it down on a piece of scrap paper I had a big package of this I think this came from probably dirt cheap it was just a big package and uh, it works really well for these types of projects 
I'm going to trim this down because we want to use something to cover up the back where I tore off the stand. So I'm just cutting right outside of the lines that I drew to make it a little bit bigger, just a, a hair wider. And then I'm going to use some hot glue and put that down. I don't want to use any type of glue that I'm going to have to rub on it because I don't want to break the seal from my glue on the bottom and the tray that it is sitting on. And that's all you have to do. Simple. Welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope that you have been enjoying the videos that I've put up recently that are compilations so you can kind of see what the channel has to offer. And I have you here some new videos coming up. So I hope you enjoy Dollar Tree and Thrift Haul videos and makeovers because that is what I do here on this channel. We do budget friendly DIYs and crafting so that you can have a unique look in your home without breaking your budget. We want to make things that bring you joy and hello sunshine and these pretty little flowers bring me joy. I hope they bring you joy too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.